This right here only costs under $200. Or peso, rupees. Has a Snapdragon 710 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, 4,000 milliampere of battery, a triple camera setup, and so much more. When I saw the specs, I was like, okay. But when I saw the price, I was like, oh my god, how was this? possible. I'm gonna straight tell you right now, there is no Xiaomi phone or Realme phone that can match the value that this phone provides. And I'm pretty sure after watching this video, you will be as blown away as I am right now. My excitement level has gone so high right now. Let me just get straight to it then. Let the unboxing begin. No. Alright, here we go. By the way, I bought the phone from Lazada for only 8,767 pesos. And I think there's a free shipping option available for the phone. Holy crap, free shipping. Now before I open this up, just check out the box. Boom. I was not expecting the box to look this good and feel this good. It's got that blue and black accents right there. We've got the 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Now the box is actually very well built, so shipping won't be any issue. Designed by Lenovo. Look at that. Gradient. I gotta say, the packaging looks very good and almost everything looks like it was twice the price. Simitecker pin your manual, and the warranty card. And it comes with a jelly case as well, with a foam. A nice soft jelly case. And that's pretty much it for the mini box. Here's the phone. I'm seeing the back. That looks cool. Okay, let me just put you aside for now. What else is in the box? Whoa, these are high quality materials right here. And boom, USB type C. All right. My friends, this is a 15 watt fast charger. That is very rare. Usually only 10 watt chargers are included in the box. And here's the phone. Let me just flip this off and boom. Well, it's not super impressive. Let's take this off and there's your back. This is just plastic. Plastic, 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 which is expected for the price. Yeah, you don't get the premium feels like the Redmi Note 7. The back feels just like the Realme 3. It has that sparkly starry effect right there, or rather glittery. Check out those glitters. It goes from green to kind of purple on a different side. Well, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but the phone is 6.3 inch. Not too big, not too small. It's just right and very light. And the thickness is just right. Not too thin, not too thick. You could say this is the Goldilocks phone. Not too much, not too less, just the right phone. But yes, it does follow the same design as the Realme 3. Curvy sides, great for holding the back for long periods of time. Yes, it is very comfortable, very good shape for gaming. Nice. But what really catches my attention right here is that triple camera setup. 16 megapixel AI triple camera. It has a telephoto lens and a bokeh lens. 16 megapixel selfie camera. And yes, it has an LED notification light. LED flash, fingerprint scanner, Lenovo logo. At the bottom, you get a headphone jack, microphone, USB type C port, wow, and a speaker grill. And at the top, you get a noise canceling microphone. Power button and volume rockers on the right side. SIM tray on the left side. You get a dual nano card slot and a hybrid one for external storage. So I got it all set up. Just opened the phone and I was surprised that it came with a Google Play Store and all the necessary Google apps that you need. Boom. And it also has very minimum bloatware. It also functions just like a stock Android experience. Looks like Android 1, right? They're calling it ZUI 11, ZUI. And I like it. It's very simple, just like your Android 1 experience. And it's also very fast. Look at that. This has got to be the fastest sub $200 phone I have ever reviewed. And look at the score on the Antutu benchmark. This is its score on Antutu. That is almost 170,000 points. Scores like this is almost double the price on other phones. Yeah, we're just starting. And get this, the display is already 
a 1080p display. The icons, the text, they are very sharp. The screen to body ratio is just ridiculously good. Just look how thin that is. The chin, the sides, this is almost Xiaomi Mi 9 level. Very much impressive. Now, the display quality on this thing is just superb. Again, for the price, everything what I'm seeing here on Mobile Legends is a lot sharper than the usual budget phone that I usually review. And it should be because of that 409 pixel density. Oh my god. Not only that, it also supports HDR10 for that nice Netflix viewing. In terms of the loudness, it is very loud. But the thing is, the sound is not full. So it's kind of thin, although it is a fairly good experience right here. That's right, my friends. Playing Mobile Legends on this thing is just a joy. The shape the phone is making at the back is just so comfortable on my hands. I am not feeling any strain at all. I'm pretty sure you can play games on this five to six hours with no issues at all. Also, the game has high frame rate mode right out of the box. So yeah, no problems setting things up. And here we go with PUBG. Now, the only thing that's bothering me is that it's not full screen display when playing games as you've seen earlier on Mobile Legends it didn't use the notch and so was here in PUBG even though it's in notch mode but as you can see right here the graphics is unmatched there is simply no phone at this price range that can play this game this smooth with this kind of graphics the Redmi Note 7 usually lags at this point this is is what you'll get for 8,767 pesos. That is just crazy. Mama, we got a winner. It's a yes for me. It is an LCD display though, so you're gonna get some pretty subpar viewing angles right here. Although, you don't get any ghost touch. And guys, it is not heating up. In other phones, it would be scorching hot at this point. But right here in this phone, how is this even possible? We haven't even covered the camera yet, but I'm telling you right now, you should definitely get this phone if you got the 9k cash. I'm really serious. Whoa, that came from the camera? This was where I was really surprised the most. With every phone these days going for the 48 megapixel cameras, this right here is only 16 megapixels. Whatever I'm seeing right here is unbelievable for what it is, for, for the price, the amount of detail, color quality, the sharpness, also that background blur. This is easily beats the Redmi Note 7, the Realme Free, the Realme Free Pro, or whatever phone I've reviewed in the past that is in the budget segment. I mean, look at that flower. Holy crap. The overall image quality here is just fantastic. I haven't even seen the videos yet and this is already a winner for me. And get this, this is the only phone at its price range that can go 4K at 30 frames per second. Well, it's because of the processor, the Snapdragon 710, it's able to do that. And holy crap, does it deliver. It's sharp, very detailed, the autofocusing is very smooth. Guys, don't buy the Xiaomi Mi A free, just buy this. This is twice as good. And for almost half the price, you get better pictures, better performance, and a 1080p display. I just wished I knew this much earlier. The Lenovo Z6 Lite is the best bang for the buck phone, well, currently. And if you're currently looking for a phone that's under 10,000 pesos, then look no further. This is it. If you were thinking on buying the Redmi Note 7, the Realme Free, the Realme Free Pro, you're wasting your time, you're gonna waste your money on that. This is your best bet. Currently in its price, for me, this is the best. Well, that is until a better phone with better specs with a very low price comes in. But yes, this is currently the king of value for money. Let me know guys in the comments below which phone you would like me to compare with the Lenovo Z6 Lite. Up next on Tech Beans, the Cherry Mobile Phones Flare S8 series. Reviews coming right up, so be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss it. This is Vince D'Amico from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.